Taylor, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK and all around the world. Because Joel is here. So salute to Joel. Um, you see the warning behind me. No need for it. It's just there. Uh, Patreon, we post five days a week. That's where we watch most of the shows that you think I don't watch are on Patreon. Uh, Twitch.com is where you can catch any of the live streams. And uh, also my Twitter. It's the same as the handle is my Twitch. This is Beard Meets Food Couldn't Do It. The Impossible Double English Breakfast Challenge. Beard Meets Food Couldn't Do It. Joel, that's cap. Let's just stop you right there, Joel. But Joel, Joel's a good dude, though, man. When he was in Chicago, he was in our uh, my neighborhood. I hit him up, spoke to him. He's a good dude. I don't even know if you remember it. I think I spoke to him on. What did I speak to? I might have spoke to him on the comments. Just he answered. Salute to Joel. Talk to me though, Joel. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Yes, I'm watching this because it's a full English breakfast and beard meets food. I don't know if he's in it, but I think Joel is in the UK. This has only been this only been completed by what? Leah? Leah's the only Hey Joel, salute Leah. Um Make that connectivity, please, sir. <laughs> there, is that right? Yeah. And beer meets food. He was here. Really? Just last week? Oh wow! How did he? He did he? Well, oh, did he beat it? He did, yeah. Okay. His video is His video's not up for sure. I've never seen it. I would have reacted to it. How long did it take him? Uh, what for the breakfast? Twenty-two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. Do you think he could? Do you think he could do two? Yeah, no. no. You don't think Beard could do it? Well, I guess he what? It's only thirty minutes, right, per child. So yeah. So. Ah, <laughs> hey, Joel is on the most diabolical uh, tour. This is diabolical. He he want times and stats. He calling people out. I salute that type of energy in the uh, food eating industry. Watch out! Hold on. Thirty thirty. Move 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 move. What that say? Leah. Leah got it in 12 minutes. Beard Meets Food got it in 22 minutes. Joel, impossible. Leah got this in 12 minutes? God, Leah. Leah. Took him 22. There you go. You heard it from the ladies, not myself. I've heard in a long time is with English mustard, all things are possible. I'm just kidding. Joel, that's too much. That's too... Y'all still got English mustard in there? Can you hand me that? The yellow one? Look, hi, look. You can't even see it. Yeah, you can. This shit unopened. I hit this about one time and this is... Let me smell it. Hell no. <laughs> I've heard in a long time is... With English mustard, all things are possible. No, I'm just kidding. Well, when you come to the United Kingdom, there's a few things you have to do. One being you gotta have an English breakfast. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today, everybody, we're on our way to a place called Tilly's. Tilly's Cafe. First, I thought it was Tilly's. <laughs> Tilly's Cafe, guys, to do their big breakfast challenge. So this is a challenge that actually my good friend, Miss Leah Shakiva told me about. So this challenge has been failed about 60 times, and there's only ever Look at Bay. <laughs> What's up, Liv? How you doing? This challenge has been failed about 60 times, and there's only ever been one winner. In fact, they deemed it absolutely impossible for quite a while. But guess who beat it? Well, my good friend Miss Leah actually was able to conquer the challenge. I guess recently since then it's gained a lot of notoriety and they've had more attempts, but nonetheless, 
Well, nobody else has been able to beat it. So we're gonna go see if we can actually join the very small list of winners today. So what is the Tiddly's actual challenge? So this- I like how Joe be capping in his videos. Like he's not the most prolific eater. Him, no, he actually is Mo Motions and him. And then beer meets food. No, no. What's the little, what's the little Asian girl name? Bro, she be the, no, no, no. What's the, the 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 Caucasian woman name? She be eating stuff in like three minutes. I be like, girl, where is it going? <laughs> so as a fry up, um, it's basically a big variety of well, English, British uh, breakfast items. We'll call it, which I think are really. And don't get in the comments and be like, oh, why are you saying Caucasian? Because as soon as I said that, you knew what I was talking about, right? interesting and different than what we do in North America. So for example, the challenge act- Joel, I rock with you, but let's, please. Let's get to it. Challenge, so. All right, everybody, so here we are with the challenge. So definitely a big one, way bigger than I anticipated. In fact, this thing is, well, I figured it's probably five, six pounds. I think it's a bit more. So we have an extra, extra, extra large serving. Oh, and look at this, guys. Let's just say they're really generous. Can you, uh... You got fried bread and toast? I love fried bread, I'm not gonna lie. If I wasn't on like a, 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 a stringent eating diet, I would make some. Put this maybe right here. Let's just say somehow we ended up with two of these. So in front of us, we have probably, I want to say, uh, how, how much do you think this weighs? Like three kilos each, four kilos? 16 pounds. Probably, yeah. probably. So we have undoubtedly the biggest breakfast challenge in the United Kingdom. So we have the huge amount of mushrooms. Like literally, this was a whole case of mushrooms I cooked down. And an immense amount of tomatoes, canned tomatoes, tin tomatoes. It's way more than two cans on each plate. All the beans, six eggs. Again, the six sausages, six bacon, six black pudding, six hash browns, uh, two buttered bread, two toast, two fried bread. Fried bread is a very uh, British thing. Literally, it's taking pieces of frying in the fryer. So this has only been this has only been completed by what? Leah? Leah's the only winner. Is that right? Yeah. And beer meets food. He was. Let's be honest. This is actually a lot more than I anticipated. I probably bit off a bit more than I can chew. Um, actually, I probably can guarantee I bit off more than I can chew. One. This, that's Joel. That is superb cap. <laughs> Cut it out. Hour on the clock. So, uh, how about we get rocking? Um, you okay if I get started? Yeah. yeah. All right, so maybe we'll say the count of like five. I don't even know where to start. Maybe the eggs or tomatoes? Tomatoes? Oh, vegetables for the kids. We'll set an example. So how we get started, we'll say like five, four, three, two, one. Let us go. All right, guys, round one, tomatoes. So there's like warm tomatoes. In North America, I think we just call them stewed tomatoes. I'm gonna keep it real with you. The tin tomatoes are the worst part of this entire plant, plethora of food. I don't, tin tomatoes are, they, they're not good. I, I, because most places don't season them. They're just out the tin and on a plate. Like, no, get like, give me, even the fresh grilled tomatoes, they're questionable, but they put seasoning on them. Tin tomatoes. Canned tomatoes, whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. And the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Sauteed garlicky mushroom. My English ways kind of mix everything up. We'll definitely get some mixing up action going. As we go along the way, like, Beans on toast. It's a nice combo. All right. We get some set an example, some um, veggies for the kids.
I think I'm gonna take some of this toast and try to get a runny, creamy yolk action. Try to get all the, as much as I can. And you let me eat some runny yolk. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I know Joel's body of work. I was here when Joel had 100,000 followers. I was watching Joel be, actually before, when he had 50,000 followers, I was watching him. So, when he get on here and get the capping about, oh, I don't think I could complete it. You're a goddamn lie, Joel. You're a liar. <laughs> I, I, I think I only ever seen you not complete something about two times. I know, I know, I know the length of video and all. If the if it if you start that clock and it's less than thirty minutes left in the video, you did it. You didn't even have a problem with it. But if you st say you start the clock at the ten minute mark, and this is a and then it and it's a forty five minute forty five minute video, I don't know. You having a hard time at that one. My love. I love like an egg on toast, like a soft yolk. Mm. Mm -hmm. I call it like maybe a sunny side up egg, easy over. Soft yolk. Here I'm going to refer to as runny. So what do you call your runny dippy? Oh yeah, like that. That's what I want. A little bit of salt on that thing. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I think I've seen a barbecue challenge that Joel didn't finish. One of my all-time favorite breakfast foods, eggs on toast. So all I do got a question. Do you do intermittent fasting? Do you only eat one big meal a day? You, there's no way you have to only you have to do intermittent fasting. Or in the gym you just super active. I don't I can't see it. I can't I can't see you like going to the gym for six, seven hours a day. You're too busy. You gotta do intermittent fasting. Me. Yeah, I got two of them. Oh, nice. A little much. <laughs> that was a lot of mushrooms. Crazy amount. How did you describe it again? To what? How would you describe the amount of mushrooms again? Two somethings? Yeah, it's two trays. Two trays of mushrooms. Yeah. So technically, it's about a kilo. Mm -hmm. All right, we're making our way. We are that of the first challenge left. You call it the mushroom challenge? I can see why. Have some bacon? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Beard Me Fools did do this. He was calling it the mushroom challenge. What Was it this one? I can't remember. So bacon rashers? It's more like a pork loin than like a back bacon or a bacon we have in North America. Which is mostly belly. <clears throat> Excuse me, comments of the chef. We are... About five, come on five and a half minutes in. Good bacon and black pudding. Mmm. Thank you. It's just a nice taste of black pudding. Summer season, summer out, this one's season.
I think Joel was here. He was at a different camera angle, though. Not Joel, my bad. Beery's food. So much pile of beans. Another pile of beans. Try the sauces out. Joel, double sausage? Joel, you gotta chill. Chill. I call it a standard breakfast sausage. Not bad, but maybe some ketchup. And the English mustard will do a little bit. I need a brown sauce here, but maybe we'll get that eventually, but I'll start with the English mustard, ketchup, ketchup. Mm -hmm. You choose English mustard over brown sauce? That That's different. Close the schools. It definitely helps. And English mustard. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. You a goddamn liar, Joel. It's not good. You're a liar. You're lying. <laughs> that's disgusting. Oh my god, I almost passed away when I had that. Get the obituaries ready. This is terrible. That's where it's at. Mm. English much makes everything better. Hash browns? What the hash brown do? An eight minutes seven. Woo! It's a very uh disgusting fried tasting hash brown. I'll finish the hash browns off. Joel just ate four hash browns triangular. Back to back to back in three seconds. Did this with ease. Black pudding. Blood sausage you call it. Run to the beans and bread. Which, you know, in two cultures, I know that the beans on bread or beans for breakfast. Latin is the Mexican culture. Oh snap, Heidi, you eating beans for breakfast? No, since I got with him. Black changed it. <laughs> But she did though. You did it in Mexico. Where did you do it? In California? You said Mexico. <laughs> nah, you, I'm, I'm just trying to I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> in the bridge. All right. Friolas. The beans on toast. It's good. It's very uh, creamy. Fried bread, guys. Now this is it was frijoles, frijoles, frijoles. frijoles. You gotta say the H harder than that, Joel. It's a J. Oh, the J. My bad. The J. Unique one. Lovely, a deep fried piece of bread. Pardon me. I'm okay to get some photos. Yeah, take any photos you want. I will say though, the fried bread's oddly good. <laughs> it was funny, as soon as it came here, the staff also knew who I was. I was like ordering and they're like, we know who you are. I was like, really? 
They knew what was up. Side note, Joel was the first Joel was the first food content creator that I ever seen grind. Like I'm talking go from bottom to top. It's the first person I ever seen go from almost like sub 50k followers to almost a million. I watched it. I seen it. I seen him put the time and effort to grind in. It's crazy. <laughs> Friendly though. And I tell you what, I think the funniest thing was is when I ordered two, you're just like, okay. I've never had that happen before. <laughs> Most people are like, you want two? What are you talking about? They're like, okay. How are we doing for job? You are 12 minutes in. And you know what I think worked for Joel? The collabs. The collabs. The collabs got Joel because he already had the grind. He already could do this very good. He already had a personality. But once he started doing collabs with like, that's when I feel like that's when it took off. And I can see that he goes back and does the same thing for up and coming people as well. So salute to that energy. But I will say, Joel, stop with the mustard. You're going to have heartburn. You're going to have indigestion. It's hot going in and it's hot coming out too. You got to chill. 12 minutes. Last bite of the first one. And this mushroom of bread is delicious. All right. Have you finished the first one there? So. I think it was 12 minutes and maybe 15 seconds to be specific. Thoroughly delicious. Really enjoyed that. Everything was actually really nicely flavored. Like I said, I got to have a... Uh, pardon me? What did you think of the sausage? Not bad. I like the black pudding better. It's a really nice flavor. Some of them aren't really seasoned. That one had a little bit of seasoning in the black pudding, which I really enjoyed. Can I give you that? Yeah. And, uh, so eggs and toast is like... I heard the trick with the sausages, you gotta boil it first, then put it on the flat top. My all-time favorite breakfast food. So I'm like getting to have that, which is great. And it's not a, I'll just give you this too, sorry. And uh, excuse me, a lot of the combos like, I like the beans on toast as well. Um, look, I can fit all the food in frame right now. <laughs> that was not a thing two minutes ago. Um, yeah, it's good. I like, I like, I said, I like, I like, I like a lot of these items. So the combos are real nice. So thank you. Tomatoes again. Mm -hmm. That's where it's gonna get real though. A lot of food. <laughs> this one will not be as fast. That's for sure. Don't go that here. Be a lot more painful. So now one thing, I appreciate. Joel, stop. Stop. Bro, you just scooped them beans. You just scoop all of that tomato up in three seconds. And I've heard because a lot of places start to put like french fries and stuff, like chips on English breakfast. And a lot of people say that's not traditional. What do you guys, what's your stance on it? Chips. That's more of a point, Yeah, the sacrilege. Yeah, sacrilege. Oh, they got sacrilegious to put to put chips on <laughs> English breakfast. Uh, I think it's just a modern way to try to fill it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it so? I've never had a proper English breakfast then, because all I, every time I get it, it got chips on it. Well, here you don't gotta have chips. They're gonna give you way more than enough mushrooms, way more than enough tomatoes, beans, all the above. Especially. The mushrooms. And this is an oversized version of their big breakfast. What's the one on the menu called? Yeah, it's called the big one. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Tell you what though, guys. This is only my second time ever having fried bread. The first time, I don't know, it was a little like, it's a little different. I didn't know how I sat on it. 
tomatoes and beans. I actually really like it though. Bread. It's good with tomatoes and beans, yeah. yeah. And fried bread. You fry bread on the plate first and then put the beans and tomatoes on top. Well, my tomatoes are pretty much gone, but I'll try with the beans. I did, I did last time with the beans and it was very delectable. So thank you. There you go. I'm wearing the proper British way. <laughs> How do people eat the mushrooms? Just eat mushrooms? <laughs> like, um, the first time I tried br fried bread was by itself. I deep fried it. Y'all told me shallow fry it, but I was like, first and foremost, don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. I just put bread and oil and it cooked, it got crispy. I ate it, it was good. The mushrooms are the sauces, so maybe uh, some English mustard, a little of that stuff. Thank you so much. Woo, but yeah, there's, there is no shortage of mushrooms. Like, this is at least a kilo of mushroom. Mm. Oh, English mustard. But I, I quote, you know, this famous quotes, blah, blah, blah. So what you about to do, a whole jar? The English mustard is not a part of the challenge, Joe. Like, like stop. My heartburn is flaring up as we speak. Stop. I think the best motivational quote that I've heard in a long time is, with English mustard, all things are possible. No, I'm just kidding. No one said that besides myself. <laughs> all right. Most of the mushrooms are about 35,000 minutes in the mushrooms and chill. <laughs> Yeah, for anybody who didn't like mushrooms, they'd be out of luck, that's for sure. Oh, yeah? No. Well, there you go. Definitely a lot of mushrooms. So, right now we're about, I think, uh, 18 and a half, just over 18 and a half minutes in. Uh, no shortage of food, everybody. Definitely no shortage. Lots of it. Sensational cap. But we're provo providing some. 100%, I think Joel has a, a stomach capacity of like 16, 17 pounds. Anything prior to that is is, is light work. Uh, entertainment for the staff today, dinner and a show, we'll call it. Woo, I think I'm gonna uh, probably hop on back in my lovely eggs on toast train. Oh yeah, that is my, that's the way I like it. The soft yolk. Eggs and bread. Very good. Some well done toast too, that is for sure. <laughs> toast got a little melanin on it, don't it? <laughs> I would say I would say don't try it. <laughs> don't try the challenge. I would not encourage anybody eating this much food. If you want to though, you can just walk in and order it like I did today, which is pretty dang cool. But just get like a normal sized breakfast, you know, enjoy it, sit here until he's... This is a lot of food, everybody. Uh, excuse me. Thomas. Yeah, it's a lot of trans fat in this, man. But I, I think Joel, I don't know, I can't confirm. But I think he does intermittent fasting and he works out a ton. Probably only drinks water and diet, zero calorie things. Joel is pretty in shape. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves here. But being in shape don't save you from certain things, but I think I think Joel got it under control. So the chef. Continue on. Ain't gonna lie, you Making did slow down a little, little bit, Joel. The pace is... <laughs> some beans on that toast. With the egg. Very tasty. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, good luck. Hello.
Eggs and toast, so that's the key. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Yeah, still one of my favorite breakfast items. Twenty-three minutes in. Ooh, making our way. Slowly but surely. Ugh. Uh, because I'm in the UK. I am mixing up some uh, some squash. That's a very UK thing. Basically, it's like a really concentrated juice thing, kind of like a mio, but less concentrated than like a mio. We are about twenty, maybe three and a half minutes in. Ooh. And my last bite of this. Egg on toast. Now beans and toast ain't bad. This beans are like sweet, right? Very really sweet and creamy. I will say it's a lot better than I anticipated. I will keep me living vicariously. I ain't even gonna lie, his pace did just, Did it slow down? He finished just the first one in like 13 minutes? Nah, it didn't slow down. About 20 now I slowed down a little bit, but you know. Ooh, done crazy. Big one. He eating them sauces just one at a time instead of double dot double dipping though. Do you use a more English mustard by chance? Yeah. Ain't no way you just asked that rated for another bottle of English. Alright. You know what? To Easter own Joel. But I could never. That's right. Guess what, guys? You got one in the bag? I do. Joel, at this point, you stressing me out, man. I can't believe you have one in your knapsack. This is insane. What? what? Is, the, is it uh, unopened? You got to crack the seal right now? I can't prepare it after I went to a restaurant. I didn't have English mustard here in England. I had to figure I'd change that. So. Never thought about using English mustard? It's delicious. Do you guys like English mustard? Uh, I will try. I was talking to people yesterday and they were like scarred from English mustard because they said it was like a threat as a kid. But yeah, yeah, when I tried English mustard on TikTok, they said they used to punish their kids with threatening them with English mustard. Dude, that is diabolical. You do, do you understand they what you do? keep talking like that when I put mustard in your mouth or something. You ever hear that? Yeah? All right, everybody. Ooh, about 27 minutes in. No shortage of food. We also fry up or a heavy fried breakfast for a reason because everything is fried. And it is definitely a heavy one in different ways. Both with weight being as heavy as it is. Again, don't try to eat two of them. But it's a heavy oily food. Holy chocolates. Not calorie free, that's for sure. 
As an English one. And how often do you actually eat like an English breakfast? Yeah. Oh, I don't. Remember? Remember? Now I've got this. All the staff said never. That's interesting. Well, here I am, Canadian man. Yeah, that's and that's what I was about to bring it to, Joe. It got to be like some type of Canadian like like taste bud deficiency where you can't taste what you're eating because that English mustard is not it, buddy. It's it for you, like I'm saying, but like still. I'm, I'm honestly impressed. You just ate a whole bottle of it. A whole bottle of it. I had a teaspoon and I almost, almost, you know what I'm saying? Family almost <laughs> gathered for a repast. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's tough. I had tears in my eyes. I threw up. Well, we only have a few sausages left, a few rashers of bacon. A little black pudding, basically just the beans. And two pieces of fried bread. Like I said, fried bread actually ain't bad. It ain't bad. So here we go. Ooh. All right, coming to an end. Ugh, and as much yeah, as- You definitely over the slower places. You, you four minutes off your first first plate. It's delicious. My body's saying that's enough. It's about 30 minutes in. And you guys don't have to be like dead quiet. You, know, you can breathe and you know. The video's only got 28 minutes and it's 30 minutes. All right, you know, now Joe, he actually struggled with this. He's over 30 minutes for sure. He's struggling. Yeah, I've done a couple pretty much all this past week. I think this is my last one. So as I say, you go out with a bag, right? Whew. Whew. All right. Almost there, everybody. I'm trying to reposition myself a little bit. Whew. A little pressure off my bottom end. Let's finish these last bites. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whew. Uh, ooh, excuse me, definitely need it. Bacon rashers. Uh, just over 33, 33.15 I think it is. Uh, making our way. We're almost there though. Pretty much just the uh, black pudding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Beard Meat Food just did this. I remember the girl right here. Which was very delicious. I remember this girl right here that just walked past. He was definitely, he was at the front though by that cash register. Making our way. We're almost there though. Yep. He just posted the video. He probably did it a long time ago. I think he did it during, like, near Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, this see. This let y'all know I really be watching this. Pretty much just the uh, black pudding, which was very delicious, and then the fried bread, which also is pretty dang good. Yeah, I mean, for literally a piece of bread thrown in a deep fryer, I got no complaints. It's all about the texture of it. It's nice. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Black pudding. Too greasy for you. I, I believe it. Yeah. What is the drink you're drinking? I don't, what is that? 
Sunny Delight? What are you drinking? <laughs> Lucas Aid? What is that? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so black pudding, basically a blood sauce is made with oatmeal. I like some different black pudding, some taste better than others, but this one tastes good. I like black pudding. It really doesn't have a distinct flavor. I think like the idea of it being blood really scares a lot of people, but. Not an English mustard though. I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't taste irony. It tastes quite pleasant. It tastes like an oatmeal cookie in my opinion. Which one do you say you didn't like black pudding? None of us. None of us, no. Okay. What, what would you say black pudding tastes like? It does not taste like an oatmeal cookie. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> what it tastes like then? Mm, I don't know. I Good. go, like beets, like rotten beets. Like rotten beets, wow. All right, fair enough. What is it? Is it the texture, the taste? Full of it. All of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no more what it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's what for a lot of people it's knowing what it is, right? Yeah. Alright guys. Whew. Beans and fried bread. Fried the bread gives this like really Sometimes I'll be thinking Joel like do these challenges and secretly like on some CGI type energy. Like he's sitting on a toilet while doing a challenge. You get what I'm saying? Like in with the new, out with the old at the same time. You ever like? <laughs> you ever went to the bathroom on some like 2 a.m. type energy? You was drunk, like you was thirsty, but you had to pee at the same time, so you was drinking and you was using the bathroom at the same time. Like that's what I. Yeah. But number two. Chewy texture. It comes almost like, um, well, like fried dough. Reminds me kind of like a funnel cake or a, kind of a donut or something. Mm. Listen, you guys don't be quiet, you can talk. <laughs> don't feel like to whisper. Ugh. About 37 minutes in, English breakfast and chill. And this is my first English breakfast of the trip. I figured I needed one and I got more than I bargained for. You finished it though. I've had nothing this breakfast for at least a year. Whew. You finished, you also finished a bottle and a half of mustard, which is, which is honestly like alarming. My fault, English mustard. Well, there's enough fat, sugar, carbs, and an English breakfast to kill anybody. No, oh, me included. <laughs> you did it, we understand. I never doubted you. What was the time? 39.05? Oh, I never doubt it. Yeah, sounds good. Ooh, thank you, thank you. What happens in the video? Oh, I'm ready to go 39 minutes and 5 seconds. Point is, he finished it. Salute to you. I'm going to let you know, like, when I, I don't, I, I watched Beard Meets Foods and I don't remember this 10 tray. I don't, I don't remember it being this big. Pause. Wow, that's, you know what, I'm out of here. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go. Salute, though. Remember, Leah.